All right, guys, for all of you that are fans of uh, what you remember as Creepy Freaks, came out, I believe, back in 2003, 2004, I don't really remember. Uh, kids' board game, you might remember playing when you were a child. Um, I have looked everywhere online, whether it was YouTube, all the video sites, could not find anything about the first episode. I figured a lot of people wanted to see it. They've been emailing me, texting me about it, so I have it on disc. Why not put up the complete first episode? So here you are, it is the first and actually last episode of the original series, Creepy Freaks. Go ahead and play it here for you. Guys, you might want to 
hold on. Alert! Alert! Prisoner escape! Headley, slingshot! 
presents smelly secrets. A horror is not much that can scare these two. And today we're expecting to see an epic freak out. Joining me in the announcer's booth is a legend. A creepy freak who oozes infectiousness for the game. Buzz Buzzcars! Thank you, Professor Von Klink. I'm very excited about today's matchup. Two freak out masters going scare for scare. Well, they decided to go five against five and have assembled some of the grossest, scariest monsters you can imagine. There's a monster under the bed. Oh, everybody's worst nightmare. And Frosty the Snot Man. His green sliminess makes my skin shiver. You will want to avoid that guy. Oh, his color bars let him move forwards, backwards, and diagonally. And he can deliver a big plop of snot. Yuck. Who's that normal-looking kid? Normal? Lucas? Oh, he is a freak leader. There's always one freak leader on every team. And those kids are the grossest, gladiest, most disgusting creatures of all. But the worst thing is they can move and scare in any direction. Hey, the freak out is starting. Let's get ready to scare somebody. Steffi gets the high roll. Ah, she places a figure first. Then Nick, then Steffi, then Nick, Steffi, Nick, Steffi, Nick, Steffi, Nick. Steffi, Nick. Oh, whoosh, oh. As we begin play, Steffi remains the first player and gets the first move. Aha! A big three! What? No scare? Not yet, my anxious accomplice. Steffi selected one of the directions on Swirly's base and moved three spaces to the center of the board. Oh, oh, oh. It's a very strategic move. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, a blast of crusty snot. That's what I'm talking about. Entirely unsanitary. Swirly special. Oh. What just happened? Steffi didn't move. Did your rule book get flushed down the you know what? A creepy freak did not move to scare if one of its color bars points to a figure next to it. But now it's next turn to get even. Uh, six! Yeah, baby! Oh, -ho, very diabolical move! Mode of doom. A triple scare! Let's see that again. Because, as you can see, Nick leveraged the laws of probability to perfection. Yeah, he got lucky. Yeah. And because Monster Under the Bed has color bars pointing to each of them, Venus, Lucas, and Ogre all get scared. One click each. Uh, notice how the figures all turn away scared, but their bases keep facing forwards. Dude, this game gets better all the time. Why didn't you move Rabbit one more space and dump a mouthful of rotten bird eggs onto Frosty? You mean like this? Unfortunately not. A figure can only move in one direction per turn. Well, Nick's always good for a stinky surprise. Poor boss. Yes! And Smurly has a weakness for critters and gets his dire click to the critters picture. So it's like getting extra super scared? Pass, pass, pass. I can scarcely believe that you're a real creepy freak. Creepy freaks have special scare types and scare weaknesses. Oh, Professor, this is all going kind of fast for me. Very well, my horribly huge color commentator. Please let me explain the creepy freak rules. Like, explain away, dude. You start with two players. Each team has one freak leader. Oh, and... yeah, those kids. Again. Yeah, uh, yeah. One freak leader plus four to 15 creepy freaks. Same number on each team. Remember, high roller goes first, alternating. Each player places creepy freaks on the board, starting from the back row and facing the other team. If the back row gets filled, go on to the next row. Ready to scare each other. Cool. And the roll of the die determines how many squares a figure is allowed to move. Anything from zero up to the number that was rolled. In any direction. In any direction shown by the color bars, with the base always facing forward. Let's take a look at Swirly. 
his name and number in front. That's always facing forward, so you can read it. Now, before starting a game, make sure each creepy freak is rotated to its starting green circle. Now, can we scare somebody? Speaking of scaring, every creepy freak has a scare type, shown in the upper right corner. Swirly scare type is potty, as shown by the toilet picture. <laughs> cool. Swirly has two weaknesses, cloud and critters. If he gets scared by critters, his dial turns to the critters picture. What if there's no match? Oh, well, my curious companion. That scare counts as one click. One click only. Remember, when clicking, the base always faces forward. Only the dial and the figure turn. What about those disgusting human kids? Oh, whenever a freak leader scares, its victim must click to its next weakness. If your dial ends up with a freak out face, oh, that creepy freak is completely turned around and running away. He is out of there. Oh, the horror. The horror. <laughs> and there is nothing more horrible than being alone. So when a team is down to one creepy freak, the game is over. The other team wins. <laughs> Who's winning now? Difficult to say. So much emotion in the free. Ah, poor Fred is running and looking for a hole to hide in. Oh, boy, exquisitely diabolical. Cop get Venus. Huh? Scanner only can choose any scare type from the other team when he scares. Steffi comes back with her freak leader. Go, Steffi, go, Steffi. Panic attack. <laughs> it's over. What? What night counters and freaks out Venus? Yeah. No way. Only Lucas is left on Steffi's team. All alone and automatically freaked out. So game over. <laughs> I'll be the same. <laughs> but what is Steffi up to? Dude, she's not going away quietly. Oh, yes! It's a grudge match! Which new and even more disgusting creepy freaks! Oh!